This is it from Lizzie's World of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an unboxing. And look who it's from. Super excited. Been waiting a super long time. These are my pre-orders that I ordered back in. I don't even remember when. Was it was it um July? No, March. I think it was March. I can't remember now. But it was a heck of a long time ago. I wasn't even going to do a pre-order, but then I decided I was going to do one. Now, I bought two, but I am only going to open up one right now. And this is the first one I picked. So this is the one that I'm going to open. Whew. Oh, the tubes are very, 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 very sturdy. I'm going to take them out of this paper because it's crinkling, crinkling way too much. Crinkling way too much. It's in a bag that says made in China. Because obviously everything's made in China. It says craftably diamond painting on the tube. Isn't that cool, cool, cool? Flip it this way. Very, very nice tube. I'm not sure how to open it. Oh, here we go. No, that's to make it longer. Do you open up the end? Is that how it goes? Oh, it twists off. <laughs> I haven't watched anybody's video, so I don't know. Nice, cool bag. And here is the diamond painting. <clears throat> I'm really excited about these tubes because they'll come very handy on my trip to the retreat. Then it has a picture of the one I have. I have Gracie's The Gardener by uh, Sheena Pike. Is that how you say her name? Sheena Pike. Um, it's, um, she does all the munchkins and this is one of them. This is the garden. So Gracie The Gardener. I thought it was a cute picture and I thought about getting it. So first we're gonna open up their new, oh my God, I love these bags. Love these bags. The new kits. There's more in here. You got surprises. Oh, their washi tape. Last time I used their washi tape, it didn't work out very well. There's a, there's a, there's a, Cover minder, two things of wax, everything you need to diamond paint. I'm gonna open up the kit. It comes with the regular white boat, a plate of wax, um, some tweezers with very pointy ends. They don't say craftably on them. And then we got a clear white pen with a four placer on the end, an extra four placer and a, what is this? A seven placer and a purple squishy because they're all about purple. You know, 
How did they know it was my favorite color? I really like this bag. This bag is gonna come in handy for packing stuff. I am definitely gonna keep this bag for sure. I really, really like it. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna open up the kit. Got an elastic around it. And then we got our schematics. Ooh, look how big they are now. They are big, big, big. Nice and big and clear. And then you have your picture right here. Start day, finish day. It is 20, is 18 inches by 24 inches. I'm not sure what that is in centimeters because you know, me and math. Me and math. Welcome to Craftably Family. This is your new version of 4.0 kit features. And it tells you everything that's in it. Really, really cool. I'm gonna put this off to the side. How many colors are in this girl? 59 colors. Wow, there's a lot of colors in this. Well, it does have like flowers and stuff. Flowers and stuff. I think my camera's cricket. If it is, I do apologize, but I have a hard time. Why do they put tape on stuff? Why? 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 all good. The canvas is nice and soft. It feels like, it feels like Diamond Art Club. That is for sure. I'm going to put these off to the side here. And we're going to roll out the camera. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, she is beautiful. And I got her in a square. You know me in squares. And there's a lot of uh, diamonds here. I don't know if I want to count them all because there is 59 of them. I don't think I'm even going to open them up. But as you can see, there's a lot of cute pastel colors. Because it is a square, there will be no ABG gems in this kit. But you see here, there's 59. It looks like that they're all here. And the drills look good. I like, never had a problem with um, craftably drills. The last time I did one, the drills were really good. And it was a square as well. So I'm not too worried about that. And look at the painting, guys. Is it too cheap? I'm going to turn her around so you can kind of see her this way. Oh, she has a rainbow up top. How cute. Isn't there a rainbow event going on right now? Too late. I can't do her up for that. And there is the tea, the teapot, the watering can. There's a lot of colors in here. A lot of background. Very, very clear canvas. So clear, way better than what it was before the first version. A lot of a lot of improvement in Craftably for sure. I don't know if this camera is gonna focus in on the drills field, but it's very very clear. I love the sparkle in it. I, it reminds me of a diamond art club, honestly. You have the somatics on the one side, then you have it again up at the top. You have craftably at the top. You got the somatic. You have a picture over here in this somatic, and then you have a picture again at the bottom. By Sheena, P P Sheena Pike, I think I'm saying her name right, if I'm not. Then um, it's very very cute, very very cute. They don't have 
like their websites and everything else on the canvas. I thought they did before, but maybe they didn't. But as you can see, these wrinkles are not on the glue. It is just the plastic on the top because this is a poor glue canvas. It is not. So you can roll it the opposite way to flatten it out. But I'm okay with this because I'm going to measure. I don't want to open it up because I want to try to stick it back in the tube. And I'm going to measure in centimeters to see what the size is. So we have 46, 46 by, forty-six by sixty-two. So it's a fairly good size canvas. Seems to be what I'm aiming for all the time lately. But yeah, it's really, really cute. I think it's gonna come out so, so cute with all these vibrant colors. And I look forward to doing this one, but I think I'm gonna do the other one first that I got. I don't know, we'll wait and see what I decide. But I am gonna work on one before the end of this year. And it's so cute. Very, very cute because I wanna try their new canvases out because like I said, I had an old one, I tried it out and that is what happened now i don't see and i think it just fell down to the bottom my packing slip no yes. and my packing slip is right here I want to show you my other one. It's a surprise. The packing slip is right here. And I will explain what happened. It does not say how much I paid for everything. Great. Greeting. Oh, wow. I wonder if she wrote this or if she just wrote it and it photocopied it. <laughs> Seems like a lot of writing for every single painting. So, um, I can't remember how much I paid for these, but all together for the two canvases, I paid $153 Canadian. That was with shipping and everything to come to Canada. But that was fine, dandy. So when it said my shipment's coming out, I get dinged again from DHL for $30 for um, custom fees and duty, which really upset me because I paid a lot of money for this painting as it was and then I got dinged for customs and um, granted they do have it on their website that if you live out of the country you may be subject to custom costs um, so that deterred me a little bit because like I don't know how much of craftably I can order because I'm gonna have to be very careful to figure out and find out if I buy one painting, how much am I going to have to pay for duty at the border? They said orders under $40. I don't have to pay duty. That's Canadian $40. But as you know, there's really nothing you can buy for under $40. So um, I don't know how they go because the first one I got from them, I did not get paid duty. I did not get charged the duty. Um, Two of them actually I had two of them. I ordered two before and I never got ding for customs and then I bought two and I got dinged. So I think if I stick to one painting, I'm not gonna get dinged and hope for the best. So next time I'm gonna try just buy one and see what happens when it gets to the border. I don't know because you know me, I don't buy extra super big so it's not like 
I'm buying a painting that's super, super huge. But yeah, I got dinged $30. So all together, I paid like $65 just in um, shipping costs alone. And that wasn't the two paintings that I bought. So there is kind of like, uh, do I gamble with getting, um, I think I'm gonna stick to one at a time because I do love Craftably and I do wanna buy from them again. I just wish they could find a way that like Diamond Art Club and stuff, I don't get charged for custom fees. They can find a way that I won't get charged with custom fees. That would be great because, you know, I do love, love, love them, but I know that they are a small business and they're not nearly as big as Diamond Art Club and that is probably why they don't have um, an agreement so that they don't have to pay these extra charges because I'm sure the larger quantities you ship out, you probably get better deals. So um, I'm still going to continue on buying even though it was super expensive, but I do like their product. And um, if I see something that I really, really want and I really, really fall in love with the next time um, they put up new pictures, then I might consider on buying. And um, I'm just gonna try buying one at a time and see what happens the next time around. But this is gonna be like a broken record because I'm probably gonna repeat all of this again in the next video. But like I said, I'm not gonna open them all up. But as you can see, there's a lot of vibrant colors. And you know me, I love painting with a lot of color. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing this. I don't want to just to like make people from other countries like Canada to stop buying from them because just check out how much it's gonna cost for the duty. Maybe you can find like, hope that it doesn't cost you duty to come over the border, but I suggest only buying one at a time and then the duty cost won't be as much. I don't know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I paid $30 this time for this paint, for both paintings to get out of customs. And um, it's really weird because I get my Treasure Studio Arts and stuff like that from DHL and I never get charged customs, so I don't understand how they figure out who charges customs and who doesn't. Like, I don't know all the ins and outs because they don't own a business, but I should maybe look into it. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my girl. Isn't she cute? I'll show you the bottom. And then the top. Isn't she just cute as a button? I think she's cute as a button. So, I like this artist a lot and my next painting is one of hers as well. And you're just gonna have to wait till next week to see which other one I bought. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye. Well folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel, I be Super Tickle Pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.